next thing I have to say is a problem I had with the the vesk the vesk right here failed this is the third time I believe I'm forced to buy a new vesk the first time I had to send it back to DIY electric skateboard and they was able to replace it for me but this time I didn't do that I think I'm going to get rid of this and uh, all right so this is the fuck box online it has a pretty good rating everybody is talking about it it's uh, a good uh, vest so I said I'm going to give it a try so yeah let's take a look so let's quickly open it up So as you can see here, so yep, let's hook it up and give it a try. So I was able to fit it in the container. thread lock some thermal paste straps for the batteries and here is the Bluetooth module As you can see here, I have a link in the video description if you are interested in getting one of these, they come very handy. So I will be using uh, these wires instead of soldering. They plugged up like that and another one that I will be using only only one connector okay I'm going to start by cutting the connectors I don't need This one before, but um, unfortunately, it's, it just stopped working for some reason. So, let's go ahead and uh, hook the Bluetooth module up. So, I have me focus, I have air axe is orange, TX is green, ground is red and the 5 volts is white alright so I'm going to go ahead and uh, solder the wires to uh, the Bluetooth module The air axe from the module goes to the TX on the VESC and the TX on the VESC uh, and the air axe on the VESC goes to the TX on the Bluetooth module. So this way it works. Plug it. Power. Now let's go ahead and power the board on. Okay. 
have the ESC power it on the Bluetooth module is blinking ready to pair on the phone so we go ahead and install the VESC application I have two of them you can either use VESC Connect Pro or ESC monitor so I'm going to go ahead and launch ESC monitor all right it quickly scans for Bluetooth devices I guess it's the first one I'll go ahead and hit the first one and here they ask me to uh, create a name for it I'm going to create a name for it okay now here as you can see we have uh, we are now monitoring everything from the VESC all right so everything you do here will be shown as you can see all right so you have you have the battery percentage I'm down to 41.2 volts 34 degrees all right and a lot of other uh, data so with this data you don't have to check your battery you just have to look and check it up on your phone it's pretty handy so yep So I'm going to quickly wrap it up. I'm going to place it around here. This was uh, originally uh, a lipo charger, balance charger case made of aluminum. So I'm going to use this instead of the plastic container. I have more room with that and uh, yep, yeah, it can help uh, uh, dissipate more uh, heat. So yep, yeah, let's do it. Just took off the controller, just disconnect the sensor wires. Yep. Yeah.
myself I never thought this would be our end But it's nothing new And my lover's honesty I can push it back, push it back down if I have to 